Hey everyone, this is me, Ginny Goel, Quality Analyst at Cloudinology, a certified Salesforce Silver Consulting Partner. In today's video, I will discuss one of my project, Reprimo. Firstly, I will let you know about client's requirement and discuss this project's functionalities. So let's get started. Talking about the client's requirement, the client wanted us to save all his database into Salesforce organization. He wanted that when we apply all the filter and hit the applied filter, data should only come according to it. For this, he wanted us to create two methods. One is the first method and the second one is the second method. And both the methods contain two different types of filters. In this project, we have created two buttons known as method one and method two on the bin object. This object is given by the client itself that is present in the Salesforce organization. Now let's talk about method one. We have created one button called estimation on the bin object. In this method, we can add filters like distance, number of rooms, balcony, area, property types, etc. Property type contains three values like an apartment, house or both you can select any. Also, data will come with the image like image of the property with details. To filter this data, we use some default fields like address field of the object. This field goes to the integrated Google map and Google map gives us the latitude and longitude of the address. We provided the option of selecting properties. We can select a maximum of 15 properties at a time. Then we provided two buttons known as the generated PDF button and the validate button. The use of validate button is that the record is created but the PDF will not be created. After selecting the properties, hit this generate PDF button. Then PDF will open in the new tab and then what we do is save the data of those selected properties in the Salesforce with the given format provided by the client. All the details added on the PDF will be according to the calculation or estimate which we are doing by our code and some data on the PDF based on the calculation of some formula fields which is given by the client itself. Now I will discuss about the integrated Google map. The filter fetches the nearest properties by the address present on the bins object record. For this, our developers write the code from which we find the latitude and the longitude from the Google map and find the nearest property. Now comes the second method. It is the same as the above method, but filters are different. In this method, the fetched data will be shown in the table form. In this method, you can select at least 50 images at a time, or we can say the data only gives at least 50 images, no more than 50. It also gives you a generate PDF button and validate button. If you don't want to select any property and click on to generate PDF button, then it will show you all the data. Either there is 50 data or less than 50 data in the database in the PDF format. Now comes how we can access the PDF, which we have created from the above method. First, we have created the method PDF one button or on the bins object through this button you can view the PDF which is generated by method 1. If the PDF is not generated, it will show you an error message. This means that first you have to generate the PDF, then you will be able to view the PDF. Similarly, for the second method, PDF, we have also created one button known as global PDF on the bins object this button only works when the user already created the PDF from both method 1 and 2. This button generates the PDF which is a mixture of both the PDFs generated by both the methods. Now let's move to the next part of this project. Dynamic and static PDF pages. 
Static means some pages of the PDF are given by the client itself and those pages will be added in every generated PDF. Either the PDF is generated by method 1, 2 and the global PDF. Those static pages are added in every PDF. Dynamic PDF pages means some calculation and data of PDF are coming dry dynamically from the bins property record. Also, we have created a custom setting inside the Salesforce ORG for both method 1 and method 2 and the global PDF. For this custom setting, you can see edit the slides of PDF. Delete the slides of the PDF. We have also created a static resource. With the help of static resource, we can update the created slides. Now let's move on to the image uploading functionality of this project. We have created a component for uploading the image and also we can reorder the images. We can upload at least 10 files at a time. And on the next screen, you can also rename the title. Also, you can change the sequence of the image. Also, you can upload some more images and we have given the delete option also in the screen. After this clicking onto the save button, those images will be saved. The working of the reorder button is the reordering, which means that the change of property of the image if you want. You can also preview the image based on the selected sequence. From the arrow button, we can preview the previous and the next image. Note that you can upload the image in any format. Now comes batch class and private listing part. Now this client wanted us to create the leads on a daily basis and those leads should come directly to the client base. So we decided to make the batch classes and web service for this purpose and these batch classes will be running on a daily basis in the morning at a given time. Web service we have created a web service for updating and inserting the leads from the client site. The client will send the data from their site and then we'll be inserting and updating the data of the client in the leads. Batch 1. So our next batch class runs to fetch the leads from the database on basis of zip code. And we store all the leads recording in the private listing which is the custom object created by us. Private listing recording also have two fields known as department and zip code. These two fields contain the zip code or department through which it is created. You can also schedule the batch class at whatever time you want to schedule the batch class to automatically create the leads. Now comes batch 2. This is the same as batch 1 but this batch class fetches the data on the basis of the department. The client wants to upload all the attachment and the complete data of the beans object in the XML form provided by the client on the FTP server on the daily basis. But only those attachments and data should be uploaded on the FTP server whose record of beans object checkbox ready to publish is checked. We have stored the attachment and XML files in the zip file format provided by the client. That's why we have created a separate batch class for this. This batch works on a daily basis and schedule at 9 a.m. in the morning. From this, First, all the attachment go to AWS and the FTP server. We have also created the custom setting so that you can customize the name of the zip file and the XML file only be changing the client code inside the custom setting. You can also schedule the XML and the attachments at whatever time you want to schedule the batch class to automatically upload the attachment of the FTP server. Community. The client wanted us to create the community and the client wanted all the above functionalities in the community as well. So we have added the functionality which was created by us in the community. Are you looking for technical and strategic guidance from the best Salesforce platform expert who can help you realize your business potential? Get in touch with Cloudonology Salesforce experts 
who can help you through your sales force journey step by step we ensure successful delivery from every solution by adding end user training and adoption together with extensive sales force consulting service to achieve amazing results from your business contact cloudonology to discuss your project needs and requirements